service how can I help you? Yes, I got a message to call this number. Okay, so can I have your name in order to pull up a file? Yes, it's Rhodesia, R O D S and David, E E S H A, Drive, D S and David, R I V S and Victor E. Okay, uh, just give me a moment and let me pull out your file, okay? Okay. Okay, so uh, can you please reconfirm me the phone number that you received a message? Your phone number that received the message. Yes, it's 424-567-6677. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the number you're calling me is the number that you received the message, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is Felix Thompson from the uh, Investigation Department of the IRS, and I do believe uh, you received a message that has been an uh, urgent message that has been delivered to you from the Investigation Department, right? Yes. About the lawsuit under your name for the tax evasion. Okay. And I do well, believe you are, uh, and I do believe that you are aware that uh, you owe some taxes to the IRS, is that right? No, I'm not aware of it. Mm -hmm. And how long you have been, uh, that means how who file your taxes, you file by your own or you hire someone to file the taxes for you? Well, see, my homeboy uh, did my taxes. He, he takes care of my financial records, so I guess he screwed up. Oh, he filed the taxes for you, right, on behalf of you, right? Yeah, my homeboy, Romy Rome, yeah. did my taxes. Yeah, but, but from the Irish point of view, we didn't uh, mention anyone to hire any kind of any person to file the taxes, right? That means uh, if we find any kind of uh, miscalculated or any kind of inappropriate in filing a taxes, that means uh, that tax is on you. That means when we file a uh, complaint, when we file a lawsuit, we cannot come. Uh, we file a lawsuit under the name of the person that will file the taxes for you. That means the lawsuit that would becomes under your name, right? Well, so I that means, uh, well, I own my mm -hmm. own okay. business called Rodisha's Bump and Curl, and when you go to that salon, you get a bump and a curl. And I also made sure that my homeboy, Romy Rome, took care of my taxes. I did not know he had screwed up. Okay, so well, let me explain to you, see, the day or we follow lawsuit under your name because uh, when we conduct a uh, statutory audit for the tax of your, uh, for the tax, uh, for five years, we found some uh, miscalculated amount. That means um, he owes some tax to the IRS and outstanding balance, right? Okay. And that's the reason and we have already given this information uh, to raise to our department to resolve this case, but you didn't raise to our department in time. That's the reason we're filing a lawsuit under your name to recollect this amount forcefully. Five years? Including the arrest warrant, right? Five years? Yeah, for the past five years, right, including the federal taxes. How can it be five years, though? Yeah, five, uh, five years, we used to conduct a statutory audit for the five years, right, not only to you. And if you find some miscalculated amount, misappropriated in filing in taxes, we have to calculate all the amounts, um, with the, including the penalty, right? And I'll give you all the detailed information, so that means in order to... Um, resolve this case. We are giving the options to resolve this case. One is outside the courthouse and one is inside the courthouse. That means inside the courthouse, that means you have to hire an attorney if you think that you didn't owe that kind of a money to the IRS. If you think that your taxpayer, you're, uh, the one who filed your taxes, is not making any kind of a mistake, in that case you can file, uh, you can hire an attorney. To file, uh, to, that means in, inside the courthouse. And if you find guilty, that means you'll be paying that outstanding amount, including the a penalty charge of the court fees. And moreover, there will be a three to five years imprisonment. But if you didn't find... Three to five means, years in uh, prison. Yes, and if you didn't find any kind of it, that means in the case, inside the court, if you win this case, that means... Uh, wait, hold on a second. Wait, wait, hold on a second. any kind of a mistake. Homeboy, why did you screw Sorry. up my taxes? You screw me okay, up. Okay, ma'am, let... Ma'am, okay, let me ahead. tell you, see, this is a uh, federal recorded call and er any third, any confidential, every confidential information will be provided and it's a federal recorded call. 
So any third party conversation is strictly uh, prohibited, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that means uh, in the fall of the taxes, uh, tourism is calculated in Manahap. You mentioned that for the past five years, we conduct this statutory audit and the youth name, right? And the miscalculated amount is, uh, it comes up with 4,795, including the penalty charge, right? Wait, what um, did you say? If yeah, $4,795, that's the miscalculated amount that you owe $4,795? Mm hmm How do I owe that much? Okay, it's for the past five years, okay? And moreover, uh, to resolve this case, we are giving this information. And moreover, if you're resolving this case inside the courthouse that I have already mentioned, three to five years imprisonment, and moreover, will be directly issuing this arrest warrant uh, today, by the day itself, if you're, resol if you're going to resolve this case inside the courthouse. But if you're going to resolve this case outside the courthouse, that means you have to pay the outstanding the miscalculated amount that you owe to the IRS. And moreover, we, can, we, we are not forcing you to pay the a whole amount in a single payment. We are going to set up an, a monthly payment plan for it, right? Okay. So it's up to you. Do you want to resolve this case inside the courthouse or outside the courthouse? It's up to you, okay? No, I want to resolve it outside the courthouse. Outside the courthouse, the results outside the courthouse, that means you need to have uh, to cancel the arrest warrant. and you need to have some of the amount of the tax that you owe so that we can cancel the arrest warrant or maybe hold the arrest warrant, right? Yes, I got the so whole that we amount. Can resolve this case. You got the whole amount? Yes. Like I said, I own my own shop called Rhodesia's Bump and Curl, so I make my own money. You made your own money? Mm hmm Okay, so and moreover to resolve this case outside the courthouse, that means uh, we cannot, I cannot uh, by myself, I cannot uh, resolve this case, more, maybe, or I cannot uh, cancel this arrest warrant and hold the warrant. You have to talk with one of the senior officers from the account department to resolve this case. And he'll be providing you all the legal information about your case, okay? Okay. How to resolve this case outside the courthouse. So at least you have to stay connected with us. I'll make a connect with the senior officers, okay? Okay. Okay, just stay connected with me. Okay. Romy wrong. Messed up my taxes. I could get you Romy wrong. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you for staying online. This is Abraham. Hello. Yes, hi. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing today? May I know who I'm speaking with? My name is Rhodesia Drive. Rhodesia, so do you understand from my officer about your case? I understand a little bit. He told me I owe $4,795. Yes, as I can see, according to the case, uh, $4,795. This is the money which you owe to the IRS. According yes. to IRS, they said this is the money which was miscalculated under your name between 2011 till 2015. Yes. So who filed your taxes for those here, ma'am? My homeboy, Romy Rome, he screwed up my taxes. I told him to take care of my taxes while I was setting up and doing my shop called Rhodesia's Bump and Curl, and I see that he screwed it up. Screwed up my taxes. All right. So uh, did my officer tell you about the federal warnings and all? Yes. Yes, because the call is recorded federally, and if in case we get disconnected, then you'll have to give us a call back within 1 minute 20 seconds on the same number. I'm calling you from my cell phone. Yes, yes, that's what I'm telling you. If in case we get disconnected, then you'll have to call us back on the same number right away, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because if in case we didn't get any response back from you, then in that case, unfortunately, we'll have to transfer this case to the courthouse. Okay. The second thing, as... IRS is not directly blaming you for this case. According to IRS, they said there might be any third party person is using your identification. So that's the reason we are not doing direct investigation on you. Okay. And this call recording will be played as an evident on your behalf in a courthouse. So we don't want any third party interpreting over the call. Okay? Okay. 
All right. So if you have any questions, any confusion which you didn't understand, you can ask me about that. Well, I don't have any questions. I just want to take care of this. It's four thousand seven hundred ninety-five dollars. I got five thousand right now. And I uh, mean, uh, you have the documents with you that uh, whatever tax your homeboy he did for you. No, I don't have the documents. That's what I'm gonna get from him. He screwed me up. Yeah, and you want to resolve in a, it in a court house or out of the court? I told the last officer I want to resolve outside the court house. Out of the court house. And did my officer explain you means what IRS say to resolve the case out of the court and in court house? Yes, he told me that we had to take care of this $4,795 outside the court house. And that's what I want to do. All right, but we'll have to explain you each and everything about it, right? Let me tell you what exactly IRS they said if in case you want to resolve it in a court house, okay, and out of the court. Okay. So just uh, if in case you want to resolve it in a court, then IRS they said means after this call they will not directly communicate with you. And only after the judgment is passed, then IRS they will start communication with you. And after we end this conversation, we'll have to file the lawsuit against you in the federal courthouse of Washington DC and from Washington DC your case will be transferred in the district courthouse of your state and one of your local police authority will be involved in this matter who will bring the legal documents the court summons and the warrant of arrest oh no I can't have Compton police coming back after me no we got to keep this I outside. appreciate ma'am but yes. we'll have to Yes, no problem, but it's our job to let you know about it, right? About the case and about the whatever details we have received here. Yeah. So to give you that document, one of your local police authority will be involved in this matter. You'll be getting the legal documents, the court summons, and the warrant of arrest from him. And you'll have to defend yourself in a courthouse that, yes, you are innocent and you haven't done this tax fraud. Then only the judge and the jury, uh, jury they will check, means why the I are saying you have everything. Yes. Well, I'm sorry, you said the Zuri? What's the Zuri? Yes, and the Zuri. They will check means why IRS is saying you have evaded your tax. Okay. Right? If in case that you found, uh, if you haven't done this tax fraud, or if there was any third party person using your identification, then whatever money you owe to the IRS, that money you'll be getting refunded as a tax return. Got it? Yes, I got or it. You'll have to hire an attorney and a lawyer, and if in case, you found guilty, then the judge and the jury, they will ask you to pay a swing amount of approximately, it will be $68,000. $68,000? Yes, listen to me first, ma'am. I'll give you a chance to speak, okay? Okay, so go they ahead. Said if in case, yes, if in case you're not able to defend yourself in a courthouse, then they will charge you a, approximately a swing amount of $68,000, which will include the pending tax, penalties, compounded interest, attorney fee and all from 2011 to 2015 and your case will be handled by your attorney and a lawyer and all and out of the courthouse IRS uh, they said if you want to resolve it out of the courthouse according to IRS they said you'll be getting an option of OIC because OIC is the only option available for any individual in the United States to settle their state and federal taxes and OIC which is offering compromise and under OIC, you'll have to uh, pay the pending income tax which you owe to the IRS. And after that, they will allow the FBI to investigate the case. And after the investigation, in 24 hours, you'll be getting some documents. And you'll have to sign some documents, each and everything. Some of the documents you'll be sending back to the IRS. And some of the documents you'll have to keep it with you. Okay. And the money which you owe to them, I already told you if in case you'll pay in ocean, then that money you'll be getting as a tax return money. Got it? Okay. Yes, because we'll have to put your ID information and all on a trust for past five years. We'll have to trust down each and everything, so it will be frozen, and the person who did a tax fraud, they are they will not able to make any kind of changes or delete on your file. Okay. And whosoever was using your identification on your behalf, to do this kind of tax fraud, everything will be traced down by us. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, and which ID you have? State ID or your driver's license? I have a state ID. 
you have a state ID and you'll be buying a tracking vouchers that vouchers you'll be getting from any of the grocery stores wait you did you say vouchers? In, yes okay I know about vouchers, vouchers but not vouchers what are vouchers? That vouchers, ma'am, you can buy it from any of the grocery stores, right? Because you don't have to do this transaction by using any of your credit card, your bank account and all. Because this information, I think the IRS, they're going to frozen. This will be frozen by the IRS. Okay, so I have to go and pick up these vouchers. Is that correct? Yeah, each and every, yes. I'll let you know each and everything about that from where you can get that and all. Okay. Yes, so if you have any questions, any confusion, you can ask me about that. I, I just want to know why I got to go and pick up vouchers to pay the IRS. Can I just pay it over the computer? Because over the debt, only I'm telling you, you don't have to do that by using your credit card and all, because we are not authorized to take that information down. But it would be easier if I do it over the computer, though. It's not about easier, ma'am. But right, it should be easy because I have a shop to run. Mm -hmm. But if you will be doing it that way, right, then if you, it, it wouldn't be acceptable, then it's no use. So I'm telling you at the first that, yes, we are not authorized to do that. You can't okay. take any of the payments or transaction by using your bank account, credit card, debit card and all. Okay, so how are we supposed to get these vouchers? I'm sorry? How are we supposed to get these vouchers? Where are we supposed to go to which to get store these? Is, which store is near to you? I have a 7-Eleven up the street. I got to get my homeboy to take me, though, because my car is dead. So we got to take his clunker. Okay, and do you have a Target store? I don't have a Target store near me. You don't have a Target store near you? No. And how far is the Walmart? I don't have a Walmart near me. It's going to be about 15 minutes. Walmart, right? Yes. But we okay, have to so take his clunker, though. I'm sorry? We have to take his old clunker, though, because I can't drive. So you'll be going uh, along with your homeboy, you say? Yeah, he have to take me there in his clunker. Where is he now? He's right here. I just got on him for right. messing up my taxes. Okay, okay. So, and you said it will take you about 15 minutes to reach to the Walmart? Yeah. All right. So, what you need to do and how you have that money? You going to use your debit card or you have any cash? I have it in cash. Yeah. So, you simply you can carry that amount. It's and one of your ID, like state ID or a driver's license. You'll be buying a tracking voucher from there. It's a personal use voucher, so you can buy it from any of the grocery stores. Okay, what type of voucher do I have to get? It's a gift card, which What's, you can buy it from any of the stores. There what will does be a it different, look like? Different I'm sorry? What does it look like? Gift card I'm talking about, ma'am. There will be a different, different gift cards, right? Okay, but so what, what would the color look like? like? What does it look like? What I'm going for? Which color? Yes, which color does it look like? So I know what to know what on, to get when I get there. That's what I'm telling you. On a store, there will be a different different card. You'll have to let me know which all card they have. So okay, you don't have to get loud with, with me. I'm just asking a question. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you, right? Okay. On a store, there will be a different different card. So you'll have to let me know. Yeah, this, they have this all card. So I'll tell you to buy this one here. Got it? Okay. Yes. So simply you have to uh, walk down to the store. Let me update your case. Once you reach to the parking lot, just say hello back to me. Is it fine? Okay. I just told you homeboy is taking me. Romy Rom is taking me, so it's going to be in the car. Okay. That's no problem. You can go with him, right? He's going to drive or you going to drive? He's going to drive. I can't drive. Okay, okay. He gonna drive it for you, so no problem. So whatever question you'll have, you can just say hello back to me, or else I'll say hello back to you. Okay. okay. And once you're reaching a parking lot, just say hello back to me. Okay. Can I can I ask a question? Yes, of course. Why are you scam people? I just scammed you for the past twenty minutes. I'm sorry. Why are you scam people? I just scammed you for the past twenty minutes. You know, Iris does not no, ask you to go. To, 
You know the IRS does not ask you to go to no 7-Eleven or Target or Walmart to get a gift card. Why are you scam people?